Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PAFX. Uh, I hope you all had a great trading week last week. I myself had a vacation in uh, Nice and Monaco in France and it was an amazing one and was not trading much. I was just managing my position. So looking forward to start uh, a real trading week again and uh, i hope you guys uh, keep showing your uh, support by hitting the like button and uh, writing your lovely comments so while i roll the intro and disclaimer you will have the time to do that see you there Yeah, welcome back guys as you see lots of um, major impact events for the upcoming week and another important thing to keep an eye at that the chinese uh, uh, gonna be on uh, holiday for the whole week so we will not have um, any news after monday from china and um, yeah that is uh, usually an important thing to know so keep an eye on that and we do have um, another important event and that is from the Aussie, the um, cash rate um, and the RBA uh, rate statement and of course the conference after that uh, to end the week with uh, another important event which is the uh, NFB on uh, Friday. In between those there is a lot of other major events that you always keep an eye at each and every day before you start your trading. If we start with, with the uh, charts, we see that um, the Dixie been uh, in a run to the upside. So the dollar did break out of this range that we've been talking about in the previous weekly overview. So we have uh, the breakout happened here on Wednesday. Very strong move to the upside, breaking above uh, this area of resistance. And seems like the market objective is at least to tag this previous high. So uh, the dollar no matter how we look at it, still uh, showing um, continuation, bullish continuation with higher highs and uh, higher lows all the way. And um, it seems like uh, 99.40 is uh, at least the market objective. Looking uh, more to the left, we see that we still have uh, some room as well to reach uh, this key area up here. So on the weekly time frame, you will see that we still have this uh, nice gap here from the French election and uh, any break and close above this previous high on the weekly there will be a possibility for the bulls to push uh, the price higher toward um, the 100 area and around the monthly or two and uh, reach this key level of resistance so still bullish but be aware that if the break happen and we reach this level to start looking for a possible reversal at that area if we go down to the lower time frame, we see that uh, on the four hour, we had a nice break out of the range, uh, reached um, almost reached uh, the previous high before we start getting uh, some correction. Could be profit taking, but I'm looking for a possible move like this uh, for the dollar early next week and to then look for possible buys here on the neckline. So it is a textbook and pretty simple. You have a breakout, you look for a retest for a possible continuation to then again look at this area to see if we're going to get rejection or a breakout of that. If the breakout happen on a daily candle, then I think there is a possibility for even uh, some more upside on the dollar oil and um, as i mentioned uh, last week there was a risk that if we uh, break and hold below this area uh, that we gonna fill this void we had during that gap on uh, on oil after the uh, strike on the saudis so um, uh, i've been talking about uh, this potential flag to keep an eye on that if broken to look for a sell on the retest probably and we've got the retest and uh, the continuation. So uh, this void now in the, in, in the market is filled. And the question is, we are back, back uh, at the same areas of support. So keep an eye on this monthly pivot point area. This still could be a possible level for the bulls to defend for another push higher. 
and to the upside you need to keep an eye on uh, this area around the monthly r1 this is your uh, cell level so these are the two levels that you should keep an eye at for uh, uh, the upcoming week on uh, oil gold still uh, going sideways but uh, if we look on the daily time frame it start getting very very interesting in my opinion since we had this left shoulder head and now um, right sh uh, right shoulder is also uh, been printed we failed to make new highs so this is a confirmed major lower high we've got in this area now after um, uh, this move to the downside but for more downside and to confirm this head and shoulder you want to see a break below this level then look for a retest and continuation toward monthly s1 that is what i'm looking for uh, on gold for the upcoming week so uh, we should keep an eye on this level if broken look for a retest and continuation euro usd um let's go to the daily you see that we uh, had a break below previous structure on the daily to then friday get um, a uh, move back up could be profit taking because it's been going down since uh, previous uh, couple of weeks now and um, this could be some profit taking i still think the euro is looking pretty heavy and uh, that there is a possibility that we see a retest of this area maybe the tag of this level or uh, probably also uh, the close of the gap uh, looking on the weekly time frame we did not have a close below this previous structure if that was the case it would be much much easier to say keep following this trend for with lower lows and lower highs to the downside that is still the case but again since we did not have a break below the previous lows on the weekly um, it is a little bit more tricky but in any case we are now back at this support level uh, very strong momentum to the downside is still um, showing up on the daily candles and on the on the four hour time frame we had this trade idea in my trading room since uh, when when we've got this break to the downside below this uh, key level of uh, support here and resistance as you see um, the idea was to look for the retest to sell it we've done that we've got a nice uh, target here of uh, 61 pips and um, i'm actually f at first looking for a, a continuation uh, on that um, direction so it is still sell rallies uh, any retest toward this structure could be a possible level to keep selling rallies anticipating the continuation so on the four hour time frame as you see here we have a very nice break below this structure as well and we're looking for selling rallies around this area could be your level to start looking for bearish evidence on euro usd sterling usd also um, uh, moving lower pretty uh, strongly actually so on the weekly time frame and after this um, retest here toward this key level of structure as you see we've got a uh, an evening star formation last week we had a confirmation of that pattern after the weekly candle closed below the low of this star and uh, there is a potential continuation to the downside on this market following the the main trend so on the daily time frame we have a very strong break below all these levels and um, there is a po possibility for a some continuation toward this neckline to then look for retest and continuation lower uh, for our time frame showing us that the price is sitting right now at around the 200 moving average on the four hour uh, broke back below um, uh, monthly r1 uh, and um, yeah again look for a possible retest of this level to then look for a short-term bounce to the upside any retest toward this neckline could be an area to look for uh, sell for more uh, downside uh, if the market keep pushing lower without that correction and break below this level then we're looking for the continuation from this area instead okay USD JP also following the the path I drew in my trading room so um, we had this uh, v-shape formation that broke previous high correction and then we start getting these 
higher lows and uh, kept following this trend line so now again we have a break above the structure on the one hour we looked for retest and still looking for a continuation to tag this uh, previous high uh, um, at around the 108.50 so as for now and as far as we are trading above this trend line the direction is to the upside in case this now fails to keep pushing higher and give you a strong break below the trend line and the, below this level here then you could look for possibly a little bit more downside once again on this market but as far as above this trend line you should keep buying um, the dips on uh, this market usd chief also uh, a bit tricky one now because we reached the 200 moving average could not stay above it so we pushed lower to then get a very strong momentum back to Toward that area back to the 200 moving average and again failed to break above it friday was a bearish engulfing candle on the daily happening at a key level where we have these previous highs and the 200 moving average here so uh, it is a bit tricky the reason i'm saying so is um, since this whole move we've been making higher highs and higher lows this was our last higher high to then see a break uh, below which is a lower high and now we pushed higher the question is is it now a reversal and we're gonna see a uh, possible head and shoulder formation and another retest to these lows or not so that is um, as i said a little bit tricky and again on the four hour time frame you see it a little bit more here how this uh, level uh, was playing um, played as resistance and there is a potential continuation to the downside if the correction to the upside is like this a little bit slowly then there is a potential move back down toward this area uh, for more continuation on uh, this market we need to see a higher low happening somewhere here in this area if that is the case then there is a possibility for a continuation to tag this previous high but as first and after this rejection now once again there is a potential push to the downside that is uh, possible especially that we broke this uh, mo uh, trend line here and we failing to make new highs usd cad still the same idea from um, last week so uh, as you know last week i mentioned that um, i've been in a cell and this is the idea it is still uh, the first level the first target is this uh, previous low and the bigger target is uh, this area down here um, it's been going sideways for a while and uh, a bit choppy and uh, very uh, frustrating if you are in the trade and seeing the market going sideways like that but the idea is still valid we start seeing a uh, nice uh, round the top here all we're waiting for now is a break below this structure for the continuation to start happening uh, last week we had a nice um, this nice candle was um, of course a bearish candle before it closed so uh, there was uh, a possibility that we see a break but then uh, we saw this uh, um, um, headline these headlines about uh, uh, the Trump and administration thinking about stopping the Chinese uh, firms to, uh, from listing in the US uh, market and that will uh, make um, the market a little bit scared and of course uh, we saw uh, the Dow pushing to the downside uh, the same uh, oil did follow and when oil is not doing good usually CAD does not do good so that's why we saw this spike but again uh, at the end of the day the market pushed back down but we never had a break below the structure so still the same idea keep looking if we see a break below the structure then we are probably going to reach target as far as there is no new high and you see the market pushing once again and no new high is make uh, is uh, made uh, you could still short this market from this area if you are not in the trade Aussie USD um, let's not uh, let's keep an eye for uh, this news event the market is expecting a cut seems so here and um, it is an important event and could be the catalyst now this mark 
this uh, chart is a little bit tricky because we reached a key level almost triple bottom pushed higher broke previous structure so this is our initial higher high here after the market been trending to the downside higher than these so this is the initial higher high and the question now is are we going to have a higher low here which is our first higher low after these uh, areas was tested if that is the case there is a potential for a continuation or it could be also that we after this uh, very strong move did a retest and we are going for the bigger correction uh, sorry continuation to the downside looking at the weekly chart we see that it is a pretty low level here before you start looking to reach these areas down here so um, it is pretty pretty important now here to keep an eye on this previous low this is the last line of defense and if this is broken it will be game over uh, for the bulls and the continuation to the downside to keep uh, happening as you see we're still in a bearish trend it is very very clear that we're making lower highs and lower lows but again as i explained on the daily time frame this market could go all the way here and then start finding support so be a little bit careful i would say wait out for the news event first before uh, taking um, any decisions on that because even on the four hour time frame as you see we reached this key area of uh, support and resistance now and as far as this is not broken it still could bounce from this level a break below this will send us toward this key area of support and then maybe another bounce or if we break then that would be um, the death of uh, the bulls for a long time in my opinion New Zealand USD almost same scenario I will uh, remind you once again of my monthly idea that we've been talking about impulse correction and the second impulse to happen here but before that we need to see how this uh, area will play is this uh, support gonna hold or not so again if we get a break on the weekly or the daily below this level a strong break then it is still a continuation to the downside and keep selling rallies weekly time frame same thing we gonna probably the market objective is probably to at least tag this low down here and on the daily after this very strong push to the upside we had a correction and uh, possibly a continuation so short term for next week i would say this right now is a little bit tricky as you see we had a spike to the upside spike to the downside and we we start squeezing here um, this is um, something that happened uh, many times when you start uh, getting close to major levels of support um, i would say keep an eye on the 200 moving average on the four hour any retest toward this level with bearish evidence could be a sell area but be aware of that at around the monthly s1 is the last line of support and possible bounce to the upside okay so as far as no break below this um, level down here um, if this hold as support we could expect a strong bounce to the upside and if this uh, to uh, get broken strongly on the daily then it is a continuation and you should keep selling rallies so uh, yeah guys that was it for today thanks a lot and see you next week bye bye